Hello friends, in the previous video we studied about the general characteristics of fungi. In this video we will be covering another topic that which is of unit 1 only classification of fungi. So first of all we will study the RH Whittaker classification. This classification is also known as five kingdom classification. He divided the entire organism present on this earth into five kingdoms, namely plantae, fungi, animalia, animalia, protista, and monera. He broadly classified the organisms into five kingdoms. So, uh, we will study about the kingdom fungi now. The basis of classification was presence or absence of cell wall, presence or absence of double membrane bound nucleus unicellular or multicellular cells and other criteria were used by him. Now, distinction of fungi. Why we keep fungi into a distinct kingdom? What makes fungi different from other plants, other plants or other organisms on this earth? So, first one is the ability to exploit environment. They live as saprophytes and parasites on other organisms and they are able to exploit the environment. They live, uh, they take nutrition from other plants and animals that may, they may be living or dead. Second phenomenon which makes it distinct is protoplasmic migration. In this what happens? The fungal protoplasm, it can migrate from uh, one area uh, to the another area. So, which it also makes it different. Second is hyphal anastomosing. In this what happens, the hypha, they are able to infect other plants and animals they, and absorb nutrients from, the, from them. Next character is spores able to colonize fresh substrate. When some fresh substrate they found, they are able to colonize on them. They are able to make short col small colonies on them. Like kuch bhi kharab unko mil gaya, jase ki kharab kya means koi bhi food item like bread or fruits, oranges, etc. When they found, they are able to colonize on them. They are able to make colonies on them. They are able to live on them. So, these are the features which make fungi different from others. We, uh, we have studied earlier also that fungi are heterotropic organisms. They do not make their own food. Now, classification of fungi was proposed by many, many scientists. First classification was, present, uh, was presented by Gane, Vaughan and Barnes. It is important classification. He divided fungi into four classes which are phycomycetes, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes. Second classification was given by Gorman and Dodge, third by Tipo, Beze, Martin. These classifications are of no use to us as these they are ancient and they are not now ever used. Nowadays, we study only two classifications, Alexopolis classification and Gwene Hogan classification. Answers also gave a classification system after Alexopolis. So, Alexopolis classification was given in the year 1962 and it was modified by him in 1968. He divided fungi into, uh, he first, he named fungi as in the division Mycota. And Mycota in this, what were the characters of fungi? They were microscopic organisms, honge, unicellular or filamentous. Nucleus will be distinct with the distinct nuclear membrane, double membrane bound nucleus will be there. Cell wall will be made up of chitin or cellulose and they can reproduce by both sexual and asexual reproduction. He further divided mycota into two subdivisions, myxomycotina and eumycotina. Myxomycotina were the ones which had no cell walls. Example was slime mold. Slimy structure will be was made up of them. Second, eumycotina, they had cell wall and they are known as true fungi. Now, first class is myxomycotina. First subclass is myxomycotina. In this, the plant body will be na naked protoplast, which will be called as protoplasm which is called as plasmodium in this picture you can see the picture of myxomycotina now it was divided into only one class only that is myxomycetes in this it was large 
मल्टी न्यूक्लियट एंड नेकेड प्रोटोप्लास्ट कार्ड प्रोटोप्लाज्म का कार्ड प्लाज्मोडियम वॉज प्रीजेंट दे रिप्रोड्यूस बाय मल्टी न्यूक्लियट वॉल्ड स्पोर्स स्पोर्स आर मल्टी न्यूक्लियट एंड दे हैव वॉल्स इट वॉज द मेथड ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन ऑफ विक्सो माइकोटिना सेकेंड सब क्लास वॉज यू माइकोटिना इन दिस माइसीलियम वॉज ब्रांच और यूनि सेलुलर और ब्रांच माइसोलियम माइसीलियम वॉज प्रीजेंट सेल वॉल वॉज डिस्टिंक्ट and hyphae it may be separate or a separate like what hy a separate and separate hyphae is i have discussed in the previous video now they could reproduce by spores or gametes and divided into eight subclasses the subclasses we will study now the first subclass was chytridiomycetes it was the most primitive class and the cells they were motile cells flagella was solitary posterior and viplash flagella you have seen earlier also viplash flagella is the one which is smoother smooth smooth flagella is called as viplash flagella so one viplash flagella was present in this class chytridiomycetes you can see its picture also i can zoom it out you can see its picture also this is the microscopic diagram of class chytridiomycetes second one is hypochytridiomycetes in this motile cells are present and here the flagella was of tin cell type tin cell flagella is the one which have hair like structures on its entire surface that is the tin cell flagella in hypochytridiomycetes aquatic fungi was involved now third subclass is oomycetes class oomycetes four four classes were there first was what first was first was chytridiomycetes then hypochytridiomycetes oomycetes now oomycetes they had well developed mycelium multinucleate and biflagellate motile cells were present in biflagellate one flagella will be of viplash type and the other will be of tin cell type fourth subclass is plasmophoromycetes they are parasitic with no cell wall and multinucleate now they have two unequal tin cell flagella flagella two an equal flagella will be there and both will be of tin cell type both will have thread like structures on them next subclass is class zygomycetes zygomycetes are parasitic or saprophytic in nature as each every fungi is they are multinucleate many nuclei are present in them motile cells are absent in fungi in the lower classes of fungi motile cells are present but as we go to higher classes the motility of the cells it is loosened that is flagella are not present in the higher classes now sixth class is trichomycetes they have either a simple uh, thallus or a branched thallus they are parasitic in arthropods arthropods such as uh, mosquitoes house flies spiders etc means insect they are parasitic on insects they live on insects and they suck their blood they absorb their blood next sub class is ascomycetes it is quite important class in this hyphae is septate hyphae and the endogenous spores they are present in the ascus and the spores are called as ascospore so this outer structure is called ascospore and it has spores and the spores are called ascus so this outer structure is ascus and the spores which are called as ascospore usually in ascomycetes eight ascospores are present next is basidium basidiomycetes now septate hypha is present and the basidium is there which produces basidiospores ascus produces ascospore ascospores and basidium it produces basidiospores in fungi uh, the sexual simplicity is present means the earlier classes they reproduce by sexual reproduction while the later classes they reproduce by asexual reproduction So the last class is deuteromycetes, which is also called as fungi imperfecta. It means it is not perfect. Why? It is so because they do not reproduce by sexual phase. They reproduce only by asexual spore. So that is why they are known as im fungi imperfecta. So the highest class of fungi is called fungi imperfecta. So this was all about the classification of fungi. In next video, we will start with the class chytridiomycetes. so thank you for the time and take care